Hey there YouTube, uh, I've been having some people ask me some questions with the uh, transformers. Alright, um, I've got a buddy uh, here in the States who's been talking to me and he picked up a transformer like this one. Picked up this, he uh, picked up a transfer switch and some other items. And he's got a PIP 4048 like this one, but it's got three solar charge controllers for a total of 180 amps. So it's got three 60 amp uh, charge controllers built into it for three different sets of solar panels. And he does have three different strings and they are different voltages and wattages so that's a perfect fit for him. Uh, he just has to buy a few extra panels to adjust a couple strings for each one of those controllers. And <clears throat> the big question has been, and they've talked to um, the lady uh, with MPP, and she said you don't need, for the US you don't need a isolation transformer so here I'm going to sacrifice my system I'm kind of hoping this does work so I'm going to disconnect the transformer and I'm just going to bypass the transformer and feed straight into the pip all right right now I've got everything off I've got the uh, power going into the uh, pip off and power in that breaker box going to the transformer off so there's no power to the transformer and right now we're on battery mode all right so everything's running on battery so you guys can uh sit back watch me uh tinker with this i've got to open up the transformer and disconnect the wires and bypass so let's watch and see what happens so hopefully we don't blow anything up Let's see, oops, might knock the camera apart. Well, let's see, let's put you in a spot where you can see a little bit better into my, in my jungle up here. All right, there you guys go. We can see in here. Let's see if I can't get some of these networking cables up and out of the way. There we go. we are about here out of the way. All right, here's one of my big cables coming in. Small one's going out. Going out to the pip. Neutral. Hot. Okay. And so you can see these two are just wired together. That was for 240. And then there's that side. So technically all we should have to do, see I got ground already connected, so we got ground all the way through, so we're good there, won't have to do nothing with ground. Um, okay, we got one hot, got a neutral, hot and neutral, and we do have a neutral lug that's going straight through, so we're going to have to disconnect this neutral. We'll just have ground, but one of the hots will be here, and one of the hots will be there, alright? So we do have to disconnect this. I put the neutral there so everything will stay in a neutral plane across the whole system. And that puts this uh, hot line, because right now we got, and it's not on, but we got 240 on this line. Let's see if you're actually seeing everything. All right, we got 240 going out here, and that'd be, you know, your hot side, and this is neutral. So I could touch all this and touch the ground, nothing would happen to me. But now with what we're getting ready to do, um, this side, that's hot, that's hot. They're both hot, neither one of these are neutral. Um, even though it's 240 volts in between these two, uh, this in respect to ground is 120, this in respect to ground is 120. Technically, here to neutral, 120, here to neutral, 120. Except for here to neutral, 240, the way it should be, like in European countries, um, Australia, and other places like that. So. The purpose of putting this transformer in is I didn't uh, know that the pip over here, everything's isolated. Uh, the neutral is isolated from the ground, and the ground's, you know, everything's isolated. Nothing makes a physical connection within the box, according to the um, people that operate pips. So what we're going to do, we're going to rewire this. i got to take everything apart, gotta cut everything off here, and... You know, we'll come back and we'll get this wired up and I'll show you how all that works, okay?
All right, guys. Well, I don't know what you guys missed. Uh, the camera was off, and I got a full battery on this thing. But all right, I got it connected. All right, hot. I already switched it on, so I don't know if you got to hear me switch it on, but I do have it switched on. Uh, switched on the breaker here. Nothing has popped. Nothing's made a bad noise yet. I haven't got to switch back to it yet. All right. Got some new baby chickies. All right, we'll get past that. Uh, here we go. Let's get the Mountain Dew bottle out of the way. And we are connected. That is without the transformer. So, yes, as of now, it looks like it works without the transformer. One more test. We're going to run power off the battery. So, we're going to disconnect the uh, air conditioner from this side. All right, because that's on grid. We're going to take the AC to off grid. All right, and we're going to turn it on. There we go. So now we got it off grid. And we are pulling, well, it didn't kick on yet, but we're going to go ahead and turn the solar off. Okay. So we're going to turn the solar power off, which I ain't got these in boxes yet. All right, now it's kicked on. And we have just... You know, turn the solar off, and it automatically clicked over to the power without the transformer. So yes, for all the people that's been asking, I'm sorry it's been taking me a while to get it done. Uh, yes, it can be ran without the transformer. See right there, we're running without the transformer. All right, so we're completely bypassing the transformer, the uh, input transformer. So you know, I wasted some money on the input transformer, but you know, I wasn't sure, so I did it. So, which means now I can get rid of this big honking little monster up here, which is a good thing. Okay, and we get everything switched over. So, we're gonna go ahead and throw the solar back on that way we can start getting some power coming in. So, there you guys go. I'm sorry it took me a while to get this all figured out. Um, hope this helps everybody. Just in case you was asking me about it, or was it you, or as Jeremy. Uh, that has asked me about this so I'll get this video uploaded so I can answer you guys this question here for the US So no, you do not have to have the transformer and yes the pip handles everything just fine. I mean I've touched it you know Touching metal on here screws, you know Everything's isolated on this system. So hope it answered you guys this question and, and, and to add to this video the last this is just the last portion for people that are going to be using these in the states and hooking them up you're going to be asking, well, okay, then how do I hook the PIP up to the 240 that we use? All right. There's going to be different types of cables. Uh, mostly when you hook up a 240 volt appliance, you're going to have a red wire, black wire, white wire, and you're going to have your ground. Some systems, all they need is black, white, and ground, depending on how it's set up. Some systems, like my air conditioner over here, it's 240, so it doesn't need a neutral wire because it uses one of the hot lines as a neutral. Well, this is how this PIP is actually wired in, all right, because you only need three wires. You need ground and the two hots, which be either red or black or white or black. And you can use 10-gauge wire because that'll handle the 20 amps because 10-gauge wire can go up to 30 amps. So all you need is 10-gauge wire, all right. Um, I've got 20-amp breakers. So that would work perfect. 10 gauge wire, 20 amp breakers. Okay. And you just wire it into the pip. Uh, under the pip is going to have a, uh, three uh, spots where the wires come in, three spots where the wires come out. They got an input and output. The input is going to be coming from, you know, your breakers. And, you know, use a two, 240 volt double throw breaker like I've got there. And it's the same thing inside there. You can get breakers with just the one switch, or you can get breakers with two switch. You know, with you know, looks like it's two breakers together, but this here, you know, it switches both of them. And you just wire it into the pip like that. You got a hot side on one side, hot where it says neutral on there. One hot goes there where it says the hot side. Your hot wire goes there where it's ground. Ground wire goes there. All right. So then it uses your 240 like it normally would in you know the UK and Australia but this is the this is the kicker here your output is going to be 240 all right <laughs> and to get 240 volt split phase that's the only time you're going to need a transformer all right if you're just going to use to run 240 volt appliances off your system you don't need the transformer 
Um, if you don't want split phase, you can set this same transformer up for just 240 volt output or 110 output. And on the front of this one, it has a wiring diagram for it, okay? And this is how I've got this system set up, all right? It's 240 in, so I've got H1, H3 wired together, they're twisted together, all right, with a ferrule on it, H2, H4 twisted together, all right? And then coming from the pip, one goes to, you know, one string that are wired together, and, and the other 240 goes to the other string that's wired together, all right? And then, of course, you got your ground going to the metal box. All right, and then over here, it all depends on what you want. If you just want 120 out, it tells you exactly how to wire it up for 120. X1, X3, X2. X1 is wired to X3, X2 is wired to X4. Then X1, X4 is gonna be your outputs for 120 and plus your ground. All right, one of those be your hot, one of those be your neutral. All right, I've got mine wired for 120 slash 240. So, only two of these lines, it's X2, X3 is wired together. All right, and then when I want my 240 split phase, okay, X1 is gonna be one of my hots, X4 is gonna be my other hot, X2 is gonna be my neutral, and then of course you got ground. All right, so that's exactly how you wire this transformer up. Okay, and if you were to reverse this operation, you can technically put 120 in and you can get 240 volts out, or 480 volts or 240 out. All depends on how you wanna wire this transformer up, but see, I've got it wired you know as a step down transformer even though it's 240 in 240 out all right um, my input transformer was done the exact same way same wiring diagram except for it's a bigger transformer this is 7.5 kva that's 5 kva i put the 7.5 kva because the pip actually can charge your batteries so it needs more power to both only charge the batteries if you want to run it at exactly 60 amps and it needs that power to power the rest of the appliances at 4 kilowatt if you're running at full 4 kilowatt plus the extra power for charging the batteries so if you take you know 60 amps times the 48 volts or whatever voltage that they use add that wattage to your maximum wattage here and that'd be the size breaker that would go in here and and that is a 30 amp breaker okay and that's how she's done even though I got a 20 amp breaker there I should put a 30 amp there but I didn't because I'm not charging off my battery bank, okay? Or I'm not charging off the grid for my battery. So there's that system, so that means now I won't have to have this to turn the transformer off anymore, so I can get rid of that, won't need it. So that's less wiring I need, won't need that. Now I can take and run a brand new wire from straight from the breaker on over and into the system, so I'll have to redo that. So that's how this is uh, set up, guys. All right, any other questions? Please comment, like, subscribe.